Hey everyone, it's the English Summer here and today you are watching my overview slash review slash first impressions of the new Sims 4 game pack. So this game pack came out on Tuesday and since then I have had a lot of tweets and a lot of comments saying where's your spa day review and you guys seem to want this, you guys seem to like when I do these sorts of videos of first impressions and how I feel about a certain game pack, whether I think it's worth the money and things like that. First off, just from focusing on what I've seen on Twitter from people I follow, I think that this game pack has a lot of stuff. From what I've seen, I'm not a builder, you guys know, um, but there's a lot of build mode items, obviously for all the spas and the retreats and things like that. So there does seem to be a lot of items. I think I've seen on Twitter, there's like over 200 items. Don't quote me on that one. I don't know how official that is, but that's a lot of items. So in the UK, this game pack is costing I think £14.99 which is £15 almost and that's standard for game packs nowadays in The Sims 4. I think it's a pretty good price, not gonna lie. Um, yeah, I think it's a pretty good price for the items that you do seem to get in this game pack, but I have not focused on all of these. I have added in a couple of lots, but I have not played with any of them so far. So what we're gonna do first is look at the creator sim items. So. I am going to load up my models and I will be back with you guys in a second. All right guys, so I just picked two random sims that I had previously made like ages ago. And really quickly, I just wanna write off what I said in the introduction. There isn't like over 200 items. There's apparently 55 new creator sim items and 122 new build slash buy mode items. I got that off Reddit, so I don't know if it's official or something, but that's how many are approximately in this new game pack. So we're just gonna head straight on in to the female and see the new hairs that we have. Some of these might be from Perfect Patio. So I am actually going to filter items into Spa Day. So we only get the spa day thing. So here we go. We have five new female hairs. We have this one, which is like a headband bun. I really like this. This is a very athletic based pack, I guess you could say. It is mainly based around spas and yoga and things like that. I really like this. Um, the headband color actually does change with the color hair you choose. Which is a little bit annoying, but I guess you could make it work. So all the blondes have a purple, all the reds have this teal, and all the browns have this like blue. So the shades are nice. I do really like this. I like that headband. It looks very like 70s. I don't know. It looks vintagey to me. So the, you could probably get away with that for wearing an everyday wear. I'm gonna change her hair back to red. And then you have this ponytail, which Holy hell, this is voluptuous. <laughs> this has a lot of volume and I really like it. This would go really well if you use the get to work hair that's really big and poofy. Um, this could be like the tied back version. I really like this. I like the fringe. It has a lot of volume. I really like this hair. Wow, I'm impressed with that. Yeah, I like that hair. Okay, moving on. Oh my goodness. Can we just take a moment right here? We have this gorgeous slicked back hair. Oh, I am in love. I have seen so many celebrities rocking this. Like, I think Scarlett Johansson has this at the minute and Sarah Paulson has this at the minute. I am obsessed. Oh my goodness, get out. I love this hair. This will be used a lot in my gameplays. I really like that. I like it in the blonde especially and also Ooh. this shade of brown. Yep, that's that's amazing. I love that. Then we have this shaved style. I really like this as well. This is very Ruby Rose-esque, I guess you could say. I have been watching Orange is the New Black. Still haven't finished season three, just thought I'd pop that in there. No spoilers. If you guys spoil it in the comments for me, I will not be impressed. But again, I like this hair. It goes really well with the hairstyles we got with Get to Work as well. It looks very classy. It looks very cropped. I am a fan. 
EA, you are making me proud right now. And also a side braid, which is giving me Elsa vibes right now. This is a very Elsa-esque. Again, I really like it. I wear this hairstyle pretty frequently, like in my day-to-day -day life. And yeah, I like it. Again, it's very big. It has a lot of hair around this area, but I really like it. And I like the way it moves against the neck and stuff. It doesn't clip much. I'm a fan of these hairs, so well done to you, EA. Let's see if we have any hats. Oh, we have our towels. <laughs> these are obviously for your saunas when your sim does visit the spa. Obviously, you can't get away with wearing this in everyday wear. Does it come in different colours? Yes, it does. Okay, so I like the detailing. The detailing's really cool, like with all the creases and stuff. It seems like a lot of work has gone into such a tiny item which is really cool well done ea i am a fan of that obviously i won't use it in everyday play but um i do like the detailing on it i think that's very cool hmm okay and then accessories do we have any from spa day no um i'm gonna put I think I'm going to put the slicked back hair on her because I love it. I'm also going to change it back to red. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed. This hair is probably my favourite. Okay, so moving on to clothes, I'm once again going to filter out the spa day. So here we go. Like I said, very sporty. That's what this pack is. So we have this slouchy jumper, which looks so comfy. It has like flared sleeves slightly. Um, it's a little bit shorter than I'd like it to be. Like I'd maybe like it like covering mm. bottoms so that you could get away with wearing leggings with it. Let me just test this theory. Let me grab some leggings and take that skirt off. Uh, yeah, so I would definitely like that to be a little bit longer, but that's me being picky. <laughs> um, I really like the look of this, and once again, it comes in a range of different colours. I like the grey one. Okay, so I can work with this. Uh -huh. Definitely more chilled out vibes. I'm probably going to use this for PJs, but I do like it. Then we have this hoodie right here. Uh, it's not actually a hoodie, it's just like a workout jacket. I like the collar, actually. This really wide collar, it seems really cool. I'm a fan. Um, I'm not a fan of the lime green, but like this colour, I always use this colour variation when it's available. I do like this. I like it in the grey and the... Yeah, I can see myself using this when it comes to yoga type things. Then we have the bikini i think this is a bikini this was actually on one of the promotion pictures and i tweeted about it i don't know why but that tweet like people were like spill that tea and i was like it's not tea i'm just saying that this bikini if you had big boobs in real life wouldn't do much like that's the truth that was me telling the truth saying it probably wouldn't do much but i like it i think it's a really nice bikini I like the gold, it's kind of like Egyptian style, like Cleopatra. I am a fan. I really like it in all of the colours actually. Mm, that's a little bit weird. That colour looks darker than that colour, but in the actual swatch that's white. That's a little bit strange, but okay. She's, she likes it, she's like commenting on it. I like this colour, I think that goes really nicely. Um, so yeah, I like that bikini. It, like I said, probably wouldn't do much in real life, but this isn't real life. This is The Sims, so they can get away with it. Then we have this yoga sports bra type of thing with mesh, which I actually tweeted about again the other day. I was complaining that mesh was such a big thing this summer because I can't pull off mesh and I wish I could, but I just can't. So that was what my tweet was about. I do like this. Um, again, I probably will just use it for athletic wear, which I guess this pack is basically aimed at because it's all about yoga and spas and working out and things like that. It's a very summery pack. I do like how they've lined it up with summer. I love this colour. This like plum colour is amazing. And the back I am a really big fan of. So yeah, yoga will be used for. Then we have just another sports bra, which is just a yoga essential, basically. Comes in basic swatches again. 
this band actually changes with the colour, I think. Or are they all grey? Oh no, they're all grey. I take that back, apart from like the black one. I like that. It looks a little bit fuzzy around here, but that's probably just graphics. But um, yeah, crossover yoga bra. Cool. And then we have this tank top. Oh my goodness. I did not realize that this was on the back. <gasps> I love this. Oh my goodness, this crossover back is amazing. Yep, I am a fan. Someone on Twitter actually said this looked a lot like the one we got to get to work, in get to work, but um, it's a lot like more active, I guess you could say. Like there's a lot bigger shoulder holes and thinner straps and this back. Oh my goodness, I love the back. I really like that. I will be using this probably as everyday wear, not even gonna lie, <laughs> it's not just gonna be used in my game for athletic, this will be used for everyday wear and probably sleeping as well because I am a fan. Then just a plain workout t-shirt which is nice, I guess this pattern is something you probably wouldn't wear on an everyday basis but for the purpose of yoga, it's just a workout top, which is pretty cool. And then just a vest top with the... This symbol seems to be like the pack promotion. It's on a lot of the signs and the spas and things like that. So I guess this is just like a promo item. Like, it doesn't come in that many colours. But it's there and it'll work for athletic wear. Full body. Okay, so we have this swimming costume. I'm gonna get rid of these leggings, actually. We have this swimming costume right here, which I love. I love this cutout section. I think it looks amazing. Um, yeah, I'm a really big fan of that. I'm liking cutouts at the minute. White, I really like. I like the white. Um, ooh, not a fan of that color. But the white, I can see myself using a lot, and also the black. They're probably the two colours that I will use the most. It looks very slick, like there's not too much detailing. There's like this one oh. crease right here, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I like that. That's a nice bathing costume. Then we have our dressing gowns, which are again used for the spa. Seems like a lot of work's gone into this. Wow, look at that like ruffle there. Ooh, I like it. I like the texture of this. Hmm, this is very cool. I think I will just like use the white and the grey. I am so boring when it comes to this sort of stuff. The bright yellow actually looks quite nice. But um, yeah, I'm really like, oh, I'll just use the greys and the whites. <laughs> That's pretty much all I use. But I think they're the only two that came with spa day. Oh no, we got one more, which is like a towel dress, which again is used for the sauna. It looks pretty light. Um probably won't use this a lot you can go away i probably won't use this a lot just for saunas i guess just to give your sims a little bit of modesty i do quite like the back this just looks like a dress that's been redetailed for spa day which i guess is fine i like this little cutout bit but like this isn't like 3d or anything not like this where this is all like 3d and looks it um so yeah it's kind of just a dress to give your sims a little bit of modesty. Bottoms, let's check what we've got on the bottoms. I'm gonna give her like a crop top or something. Um, you can go on. I'll give it to you in pink, there we go. And bottoms. Yoga pants, they look very poofy and 60s-ish, I wanna say, I don't know, 70s, 80s. I'm not too great with the decades <laughs> or clothing, but I do like these, these are quite nice. They don't have a color to actually match this top, which is, I guess you could get away with white. So the color combos are a little bit hard, like you are gonna have to find something that matches the color swatches, which obviously there will be, like they will have matched things up, but not everything as you can probably tell. Then we have yoga pants. Again, these are pretty much all going to be yoga pants. I like the creases at the knees. They are very cool. And I like these little crop bits here. Um, so yeah, we have these in a bunch of colours. Again, we don't seem to have one that matches all of the crop tops that we have. I guess you could get away with that. So it is easy to come up with something, but I would 
Mm, sort of prefer it if they did completely match. These actually match. These are just sweats, um, which I really like. They're high waisted actually. So my Sims will probably be wearing these around the house as they slouch around. You could get away with wearing these probably on an everyday wear. Um, but yeah, I like those. I like how they are high waisted. Um, they look a bit like PJs, so my that's probably what my Sims will use them for. Then some more yoga pants, which actually look like the pants I was wearing in my yoga challenge video. Um, I think these bits are meant to be like a meshy bit, which is really cool. I like the little details that have come on these. I really like the little detailings that they have going on in this pack, but the colour swatches aren't completely doing it for me. I would always like match this colour with white. Um, I probably should have chose a different colour because this just seems to not be going with a lot of things. But you know, I like these all the same. Then some little beauty shorts which look so comfy. I like the detailing on the bow. I like the pattern. Let's see what other colour swatches we've got. So it's called, sort of like a camo leaf jungly type thing. I like all of those colour swatches. And then of course you just have your plain. Pretty much for running, these do actually go. We found something that went together, guys. <laughs> but I do like these. These are nice. Just like either pyjamas or workout or I guess you could wear them for every day. And then... I think these are the bikini bottoms for the Cleopatra type bikini, so they're just bikini bottoms, but I do like them. They do have this like yoga padding as well, which is pretty cool. Moving on to accessories, let's see if there's anything that came with Spa Day. Okay, we have a watch, which, ooh, I like. I really like that. It's kind of like a sundial or a cog. Either one, I'm gonna say it's a sundial, but I like that. Hmm, I can see myself wearing it. It looks like a waterproof type watch, I guess, for like timing yourself when you're working out. I like that. I don't use watches very often in The Sims 4, but I do like that one. And then Spa Day. Sorry guys, I seem to be taking forever in this. I promise I will speed up like the rest. I might just speed them up and stop talking. <laughs> we have these flat shoes, which are just sneakers basically, but they are pretty cool. Then some more sneakers, which come in really cool colors. <gasps> I love those ones. They're like sunset fire. Oh, and those ones. I prefer these to those. Then mm, what are these? They look like sneakers, like trainers, but they have a massive buckle on. Are they meant to be Velcro? They look like a buckle, especially in this colour. <laughs> they look like male, like, suit shoes. Not a massive fan of those. Then, what are these? I have never seen anyone wear shoes like these. They look like a mix of Toms and Crocs, and I can't see myself using these too often. No. What are they? Not a massive fan of those. And then these flip-flops, which I do actually really like. I've seen people wear these out and about recently. And I do like these. They're kind of just for going around the spa. They they look like fabric. And yeah, I'm a fan of those. They're kind of like gladiator sandals slash flip-flops, I guess you could say. I think that's all that comes for the ladies, if I am correct. So um, yeah. That's everything that comes for the ladies and now we will move on to the boys. So I'm just gonna speed this part up. I'm just gonna show you guys what they have and you guys can listen to a little bit of music whilst I do. I just want to say something really quick about this top. That is very low. I am... I don't know how I feel about this being so low. <laughs> I do like it, obviously, for like a workout shirt. I think really think I like it. And I think you're surfery, guys. Obviously, Johnny is like a massive surfer 
dude. Um, I think that he can pull it off, but I think you'd have to be very athletic to uh, pull this off. That was just my little note on what I saw. And also this jumper, I prefer it for the men than I do for the women. I think it really suits the men, especially in like gray. I will be using this quite a lot, but anyway, back to the music. Budgie smugglers, budgie smugglers. Alright guys, so this is the hair that I actually just wanted to, um, I guess, have a chat about. So I've seen this hair on Twitter and I've seen people be like, what is this hair? And I have to say, I feel like I am back in the 90s listening to NSYNC. I feel like this is such an, especially this one, this is like in sync all over with like the blonde bits. I don't know whether that's meant to be like balding and like skin showing through or whether it's meant to be like dyed blonde. I know this is like a bald patch. <laughs> I don't mean to say that NSYNC were balding in the 90s, but I'm just saying like these look like little roots and I guess that they are meant to be like his scalp showing, but they do just look like blonde dyed roots. I am not a fan of this hairstyle. Like, in the grey, okay, like, yeah, he's balding. You can probably see that. Um, I, in the grey, I probably would maybe use it or in... No, definitely not in that colour. Um, yeah, in the grey is the only time I can see myself using this hair. I don't really know why it's in spa day. I guess if, like, your Sims and elder and they want to go have a relaxing session at the spa, but... The women don't have anything like this and I just don't really understand it. But I guess some people might like to have it in their game. <gasps> They've made this jewel compatible. <gasps> oh my goodness. I love it. OMG. So this is the slicked back hair that you also have for the women, but they have made it jewel compatible for men as well. And... I think I love it even more now. Like, legit in any hair colour, I'm obsessed. I love it in this colour. <gasps> oh my goodness, look how handsome he is. I really, really like this. I like the quiff, I like the volume, I like how it's slicked back. I am a massive fan. This is probably my favourite hair from the whole game pack, so... I would buy this pack just for this. <laughs> I've already bought the pack, so, but this is for you guys if you are looking into it. And also, this one is dual compatible as well. Shaven sides, which is really popular at the minute. Like, I see guys rocking this hairstyle everywhere I go. I really like it. I like the slicked back hairs, and I think this game pack did it very well. There's not too much height like there was in luxury party stuff. It's like just the right amount of volume and I am a fan. I really, really like the hairstyles. That one probably won't really get much use out of it, but these two, they are dual compatible from the women. But even with that, I really like them. I kind of wish we had a few more new hairstyles for men because I feel like sometimes the focus is fully on women in game packs and stuff packs and the men kind of just get like, oh, well, there's only a certain amount of hairstyles which you can do, which I fully understand, um, but 
I do wish we did get a couple more. I think we had five for the women and we only have three for the males and two of those are dual compatible. So I probably would have liked to see a few more hairstyles for the males, especially because I like making male sims. I feel like I'm better at making male sims than I am female. Like females, I obviously love making and I love doing their makeup and stuff like that. Male sims, I just think I'm better at making them. So I tend to do that more when I'm just messing around on the sims and creating them. But I do like this. I do like all the hairstyles that came for the men. Well played, EA. Well played, my friends. I will probably put these on a maybe Jared can like rock this hairstyle in my Youngins Let's Play. I probably will use these quite a lot. So that is the adults and we're quickly gonna head on over to the kiddies. I don't think we got many items for the children. I think it's merely a towel, um, yeah, the towel hair accessory, which I've spoke about this as adults. Um, it comes in all the same colors. I like the detailing, but won't get like much use out of it obviously just at spas and things like that nope there is literally like nothing else for the kids which i wish we had new hairstyles i really like the hairstyles that we got for outdoor retreat which was the previous game pack was a really big fan of the outdoor retreat children's hair so i wish we had some in this stuff in this game pack but we unfortunately do not and then we have this little workout jacket there's one pretty much a lot like this in the base game. This just looks like a recoloring, maybe like longer sleeves. I do like it. My Sims probably won't wear it too much unless I have like a really athletic young child who is really like motor skill happy. I like it in the pink actually. That's really cute. Um, it's a nice shade of pink and they obviously have like two tone sleeves. I do like it probably won't get too much use out of it though full body they have scaled the robes down to children's size sizes which are adorable and so so cute i do love these especially in like this color for the kids i do like this so i'm happy that the children now have that and bottoms just tracksuit bottoms just to match the um jacket that we got again kind of look like items we already have in base game so not too much for the children i would have personally preferred more no shoes no hairstyles and just like a tracksuit so a little bit disappointed with the child side of things oh do we have any boys no that's just the um one that came with either the update or lux luxury party or something like that so no new hairstyles for the boys again obviously the boys pretty much have the same as the girls you get your sweatshirt and you get your tracksuit bottoms which do look cute when you actually match them up they do look cute together and your robe so that's all there is for children little bit disappointing on the children's side of things but I am impressed with the hairs and also the clothing that you get for adults. So creator sim wise, I would have liked to seen more hairstyles for the men and also maybe a few more things for the children because I feel like children really didn't get a thing in this game pack, which I understand because not many children are going to go to a spa and have massages and things like that. But even like little athletics wears or swim wears would have been cute. A few new hairstyles would have really added in my opinion, but we can't have it all and I think EA did well with what they did. There are a lot of new items and a lot of them do have the detail that I like to see. And yeah, I am overall impressed with the creator sim items. So thank you so much EA for those. I feel like creator sim is sort of worth the money. I do like them. If you guys are looking for more child things, then you're probably not going to like this game pack. But in my personal opinion, I did buy this. I feel like I got my money's worth in creator sim. So now we are going to move into build mode and do like a little overview of the spas and things like that. Okay, guys. So I was planning on doing all of this review slash overview all together. But I realized that the creator sim one was really, really long and I've decided to split it up. So today the creator sim one will be up, which you have just watched. 
and in the next couple of days I will get the build mode items up and talk about the spars and things like that for you guys so I just decided to split it into two parts so you guys weren't completely overwhelmed but I hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please do give it a big thumbs up and let me know how you feel about the game pack in the comment section down below I'd love to hear your feedback on the creator sim items maybe what your favorite one was what your least favorite one was what you think they did well I'd love to hear what you have to say about the game pack and I'm sure that EA appreciate all the feedback that they get just to keep on continuing to make The Sims 4 better and something that we all love as a one big community. But thank you all so much for watching, I love you all and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye guys!